What's up, YouTube family? Today we have another doctor's appointment. I'm currently 26 weeks and like five days or something like that. Almost 27 weeks. So that means I'm about to enter my third trimester. So excited. And the fact that it's getting closer to 30 weeks feels really good because when you're at 30 weeks, it's like the countdown can begin. Like you can give birth anywhere between 37 to 40 weeks or 37 to 42 weeks. And so I'm just getting really excited. Anyway, we have to get ready to go. I just did my hair. I ended up receiving this really nice blow dryer. So I tried it out last night and then I used some straighteners from the same brand, GHD, uh, GHD, GHD. This is the GHD Chronos. I used the same brand straighteners and I did this entire look. Now the products that I used, I'll have to update y'all on that later. My hair has been really going through it and I've just been trying to put as much moisture as I can in it but I also have hairstyles that'll last me. Like this was just a very quick kind of like blowout. And I put rollers in it, so it it didn't take much effort. And I know that straightening my hair will last me a good two weeks or so. Um, So I gotta brush my teeth, wash my face. I already have on some clothes, just something very casual. You can't even see, but a little top and shorts and then I got Bella dressed early this morning so that I'm not rushing, still under the rushing, because we got about 30 minutes to get out the house. But she's dressed, I just need to do her hair, feed her a little food, and um, feed myself some food. And we good. Uh. <laughs> okay, so we ordered wings yesterday. I'm trying to engulf these right now because at this point we have 10 minutes Bella ate some of the rest of my pizza that I had yesterday a few a little bit of greens a little bit of green beans and a little bit of chicken wings <laughs> that's not a complete lunch but we're gonna have some snacks in the car and hopefully we stop somewhere hopefully we stop somewhere and get something else to eat because this is not enough Considered the most painful way to give 
refer to a child, but it does lead for the smallest amount of medical intervention that you could have. So like, and this isn't just from my understanding, but also from speaking to moms who have both given birth in water, at home, in the hospital, vaginally, in the hospital with an epidural and in the hospital like having a c-section i had a c-section myself it was not the best experience i think we can both attest to that but a few of my friends have had water births or just home births in general and because you're in your own environment you're able to labor how you want to labor there are different positions that you can get in when you're at home of course, some hospitals do allow for that, but a lot of them don't. So you have to pick a hospital that is right for you if you are going to be in the hospital environment, and that's your personal choice. But being at home makes it more comfortable for you. You're in your own environment. You don't have to be transferred home after two days or whatever. Like You're just able to be at home and kind of at peace and have who you want at your birth at the time you want to at your birth. You can have low lighting. You can have the support and the team that you really want when you have a home birth. Or you can do it by yourself. I don't think I'm choosing to have the most painful birth. Pain is also very much so mental. Our bodies are made to do this, you know. Our bodies aren't necessarily made to have medical intervention. Medical intervention came, came around because like it's, it is painful in a sense. Like, you, know, you go through a lot giving birth. You go through a lot carrying a child for nine months. So that's it. But this is, this is, I guess, this is scarier for you, right? I just don't know what to expect. You didn't know what to expect for a C section. And birth is like, can be two, like, up to two days, right? Labor can be days and weeks. I mean, it just depends on your personal experience. How do you know you're, like, getting birth? Because, like, you could be... Having prodromal labor, like we had? Yeah. It's more constant, and it starts, starts to intensify. So like where, as when we had prodromal labor, you know, I was, I was in, like, I was dilated and I was having contractions, but I didn't like progress. Time your contractions or do this or do that, you know, get in some water and relax and eat and try to enjoy the first parts of labor if I was in actual labor, you know, like, yeah, actual labor. But since it was prodromal labor, I was able to do all those things, but we were like, I was, bef I was 36 weeks, four days, and you're not to term until you're 37 weeks. Yeah, so since I wasn't to term, we went to the hospital instead to make sure everything was going okay and nothing was wrong. Somebody's bored. Anyway, head to our appointment now. And we'll get to all have a look at the baby. We just made it. Ugh. Hey, girly pop. Where's your hair, bud? Hairbow. Where does it go? Oh, uh, closer to closer to that side. <laughs> it's okay. I fix it. Hey, Bean. <laughs> you sure? Mommy gotta go use bathroom. I have to go and leave a urine sample.
bring it. But don't touch your nasty hands. I was like, I literally washed my hands after I peed. <laughs> Such a hater. My goodness. <laughs> um, sometimes at night I have some pains right here. Hmm. On the left side at the bottom. Now where the baby sits? Sometimes it's a sharper pain, but it's not like anything where you know, like, ah, that hurt. Nope, nothing really. I'm breathing hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Getting a workout here? Uh, you know, everything except the squats. Okay. Which I need to do the squats. But, like, even this what morning. Cardio? Yeah. Hmm? Cardio? Yeah. Um, I'll do yoga. Um, I'll do, like, we, we walk. Okay. Um, we've been outside my Okay. I went to the pool yesterday, so that's the cardio mm -hmm. with that. Right. Are you taking vitamin D? Wanna see Bella? Uh, vitamin D3? Yes, yes. He's moving. I'm not sure if he's like balled up in a little ball. Oh, hi. Are you smiling again? Can you see his face missing? Mm -mm. I can't tell what that you is. You can't tell. Okay, um, over to the right at the bottom. Right bottom. Oh, I see the face. Yeah. Sup, little man? Oh, I think he has those face. Yeah. There you go. Good job. <laughs> so, you, darling, go ahead and get in. Bella, you getting in? You getting in with mommy? You gonna help her have the baby? And get in? Ready? Oh! Whee! So, this is where you'll be if she's yeah. home. Next question. What are you gonna do with her? Um <laughs> she got me right here. So um the babies can't get in the water. You know, um it's up to y'all. Well my mom, she said she's gonna be ready. Okay. And she's gonna take her either to an Airbnb or she's gonna be in the house with her. Okay. Because when they see the pool and the water, it's like, yes. <laughs> it's like back time, back time, back time. And then um, they'll get in and they're cool at first, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoosh, whoosh. uh uh. Yeah, they, they get a little. Uh -uh. They having a good time. You in late. But I tell people it's up to you. Just, you know, make sure you have somebody that's around. If you're like, enough of that, yeah. they need to go. They usually get really angry when you make them get out the water. Uh huh. But, you, know, you know, it's up to you. So, are you supporting in the pool or out of it? Looks, it looks, it don't look that much, much space. It actually is fun yeah. for both of y'all to get in. And I have a larger one for very tall folks. So, what is your choice? Look at her face. I mean, if, if I'm like this, this is cool too, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. You can support from the outside. So, is it better to support from the inside? It depends on what she needs. So let's say she's in there. She's like, I just really want you to hold me. Then yeah, go ahead. And I can start out, and then if I need to, I'll okay, go. okay. He's afraid of the blood part. That's what he said. Well, a lot of dads are. I will be too. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if the blood ain't coming out of me, then what, what are you doing? So, so uh, I'm not like. I don't think I would be mad, or I, or I don't. I've never been in a situation yeah, where I don't know. But if he's like, no, I'm not gonna get the pool. Because <laughs> sometimes you, you get to a point where you're like, oh my god, I can't do it. I can't. And I'm going to be like, I need you to get in the house. Turn the locker in a little bit. And then that's, it is what it is. And it just kind of makes you feel more steady so that you're not like flipping around all crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay? So this is a position. Okay? You plan on delivery. 
you do? Yeah. Alright, good deal. So if you're in this position, easily bring baby up to you. So let me grab the little baby. I'll get it. Somebody will help me though. Absolutely. I'm helping. <laughs> So yeah, you can be in front or you can be off to the side. It's up to you, right? Yeah. And then, baby's coming out. You bring baby face out of the water. Now don't go too far because we're still attached. And now you're gonna put baby on her chest. Yeah. Support the baby. Okay. I want you to be able to be the first to touch baby. Okay. Okay. That's one position. So let's say she's on hands and knees. I'm gonna have you. Scared of baby. You scared of baby. You're in front of her, she's holding on to you, right? And kind of sit back into it a little bit. Sit back, yep. And I'm gonna say, all right, baby's out. And I'm gonna push the baby forward. Does it lean down there and get your baby off the floor? Okay, make sense? Mm -hmm. And now she can grab the baby and sit on it. Okay, it's gonna be dramatic. <laughs> It's just gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening. Oh, Vincent, no, I'm right there. Oh, I got a cramp. <laughs> You're so silly. I ain't old. <laughs> Y'all, today has been just that a day. From getting up early, getting ready for the doctor's appointment, going to the doctor's appointment. It's been it's been a day, and I. In marriage, you always have those days where sometimes you take on more of a load and sometimes your spouse takes on more of a load. Today was definitely a load for me. Tiki? Today was definitely a load for me. Like I could tell Vincent was like, a, you know, a little mentally out of it. And so I tried to pick up where I could and just do more, but I'm tired. And on top of that, I'm pregnant. So like, I can only do so much. But I am very much so tired. So I think he kind of noticed that. And I've, I've been nauseous too. Um, I think he kind of noticed that. And so he just ran me a bath upstairs. And I'm about to go take a luxurious bath. Like, definitely need it. I'm gonna put some Epsom salt in there. A little lavender oil, lavender essential oil, something, something. Like, I need something to just. I just went on my last walk, so I try to go for a walk in the morning, and then like once throughout the day or something like that, but I didn't get one throughout the day, so um, I took Cookie on her last walk instead, and it is 8.27, 8.29, can't see, it's 8.29, and the sun is still kind of out, so you know, it made sense for me to go out. If it was nighttime, I definitely would but I did. And, oh, kind, kind of an overview of the day, or an overview of the, of the appointment. The appointment went amazing. Um, I feel like, I think that being pregnant with our son has been a bit easier than it was for me being pregnant with Bella. I don't know if it's, because my body was already used to housing a child and so it's just, you know, going right back to what it was used to. Or if boys are indeed easier. The doctor's appointment went great. As you saw, we got to get in the birthing pool and that was a lot of fun. Like, I feel like Vincent is like really getting involved and he's excited about it. And we're just going through it this time we're, we're going through not through it in a bad way but like we're going through the motions we're figuring everything out and 
and we're more content with this pregnancy. It's not new to us anymore. This is something, this is a territory that we're used to. So I think the although the birth will be new, we're excited for it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We really appreciate y'all's comments, your positive feedback. Like we look, we really look forward to reading it. So don't forget to leave us some feedback and come back next week for our next vlog. Bye.